Right on the lineup, heart-stopping video of a man who snatched a teen right from her front door. Here from the mom, wasn't going to let him get away. Plus, one of Philadelphia funny, Philadelphia's funniest natives just got high honors. We'll hear what some of Kevin Hart's friends had to say about him on his big night. Plus, the surprise side effects of sorts for women taking the world's most popular weight loss drug. Those stories and more on today's edition of The Lineup. It's Monday, March 25th, 2024. The Lineup is brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Hey, everyone, I'm ABC 10's Keith Jones. And I'm Brenna Weick. We want to get you caught up with what you need to know today. Let's start with a terrifying scene right outside a family's front door. That's right, an 18-year-old woman nearly abducted right outside her apartment in New York City. you got to see this DoorDash video, a door cam video, I should say, shows a uh, masked man wearing camouflage hop up from the stairwell, run up behind her, grabs her, takes off. Seconds later, her mother ran out of the door. Uh, running after them. The man mm -hmm. dragged the teen down four flights of steps, fought with her mother, pepper sprayed her even. She said she just acted on instinct. I never heard her scream like that. You weren't thinking about your safety at that point? No. No, absolutely not. No. No, it's my baby. Can't take her. Mm -hmm. A neighbor knocked the man down, held him until police arrived. They say he used to work with the teen. She and her mother are now recovering. Thank goodness they're all right. Yeah, seriously. Well, the pool is off limits for people living in an apartment complex in South Florida. You might be wondering why. Well, we'll show you. Someone drove their car right into the water. Look at that. You can see a big oh. gap in the fence where the car came crashing right on through. Not clear what caused this crash, but get this. Residents say this is the third crash that has happened oh, here. There's a problem. Isn't that crazy? One of Philly's funniest comedians has a new honor this morning. Yeah, Kevin Hart just got the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. The Kennedy Center hosted a star-studded event for the award. Several of his friends cracked jokes and took swipes at Hart's short stature, but Kevin knew it was coming. That is dope because my friends come out and um, support. And it's just dope to know that you got relationships that are real. Is that going to be weird for you, everyone saying nice things about you for like two hours? I don't think they're going to be that nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, they're going to end nice, but I think everybody is comedian, so we're going to do what we do best. <laughs> Hart told the crowd that he didn't get into comedy for the awards. He just fell in love with the idea of comedy. Here's what some of his colleagues said when asked about the profound things Kevin Hart has told them or showed them. We're going to have that for you uh, available online yeah. on mm -hmm. NBC.com, also uh, NBC News. Uh, if you're looking to make a splash on the walls, your home or your office. Oh, wait, do we have that sound? Larry, do we have it? Yes, no, maybe not. I'm going to say we don't I love you it. and there's absolutely oh, nothing there to do about it. No matter how big he gets as an artist, as a movie star, as a comedian, uh, he makes time for his children, makes time for his family, and uh, that has been profound for me and an inspiration to me. What's the most profound thing Kevin Hart's ever said to you? <laughs> oh, he wasn't ready. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we the waited most for that. The profound part about him is his honesty and his comedy. He's given up um, a lot uh, to his audiences. And I think, you know, a lot of people wouldn't give up all that. The most profound thing at the moment is uh, to call him Petite K. I said, <laughs> can I call you Big Kev? And he looked at me and said, no, I'm Petite K. And I thought that was the funniest <laughs> thing ever. That's great. So that was worth the wait right there, all yeah. that sound. That was great, for especially sure. from J.B. Smoove, the second to last. I love J.B. Mm -hmm. Smoove. It's the best. Um, if you're looking to make a splash on the walls of your home or your office and celebrate your love for the birds, there's a new auction for you. Yeah, we'll see if you can afford any of it. These eagles <laughs> theme masterpieces are part of the birds' new art gala called Green is the Heart Inspired. It features, features 35 artists from our region, including four artists on the autism spectrum. The exhibit runs through April 11th through the 14th at Arch Enemy Arts Gallery in Old City. You can start bidding on the pieces this morning and proceeds benefit the Eagles Autism Foundation. Mm -hmm. So a worthy cause. Yes. National Cheesesteak Day was this weekend. Yeah, there's no better way to celebrate than with a cheesesteak eating contest. Look at oh these boy. people chowing down at Delco Steaks and Broom Hall. This was their cheesesteak bowl at Marple Public House. Oh, competitive eaters oh, had to devour gosh. as many foot-long cheesesteaks as they could in 10 minutes. And congrats to Central Pennsylvania's Dan Kennedy scarfing down seven and a half foot long cheesesteaks to win the professional round title. This is Dan's fourth consecutive cheesesteak bowl victory. Portion of the proceeds support the Headstrong 
foundation. Seven feet of cheesesteak. I wonder how he's feeling today. Oh, uh, not great. Laying in bed still. Might be Shout able out to, to Dan. Definitely report that. Hope Shout out to Dan. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so that's a feat, though. That's amazing. Yeah. Gosh. Definitely. Um, eating that many cheesesteaks come with uh, packing on the extra pounds. Of course. A popular weight loss drug seems to have some unexpected side effects. Oh, We're going to tell out, you Dan. about it when we come back in 30 <laughs> seconds. Just wait for this. Here we go. Here I go again. Introducing the all-new TD Clear credit card with no late fees and no interest, just a simple monthly fee. That's predictability, even when expenses aren't. $4? That's bananas. It's a pair. Oh, man. The all-new TD Clear credit card. That's how credit can be unexpectedly human. Call 1-844-TD-CLEAR for details about credit costs and terms. Hey, the world's favorite fuzzy red guy, part of a new ad campaign to support mental health. Yeah, this is a great cause. No one makes us feel better like Elmo does. Listen to this. <laughs> Elmo's daddy taught him that when he has a big feeling like being frustrated, humming a song can help you feel better. So sweet. Mm -hmm. This spot is just one part of a series called Love Your Mind. The PSA also comes with a list of resources for mental health on the Sesame Workshop's website. And the next one is coming out in May. So important for kids to hear great? about that. It's a good so message. Young. Real yeah. cute, too. All right, listen to this. Doctors are reporting a phenomenon that seems to be associated with the world's most popular weight loss drug. Yeah. More women are getting pregnant after taking Wagovi and Ozempic, even if they'd experienced infertility before. Mm -hmm. They're calling them Ozempic babies, and doctors say the drug does increase fertility in a roundabout way. Experts say losing just 5 to 10 pounds could boost a woman's fertility slightly, but it's enough that pregnancy is a possibility. Good heads up there. That's Good a great to know. heads up. Right. you got to know everything. <laughs> All right, thank the pandemic for a new bathroom trend. Yeah, bidet sales are on the rise and apparently have been since that toilet paper shortage in 2020. None mm -hmm. of us can forget that, right? Back then, one website that sells them sold out and supply chain issues actually followed. Experts say the market for bidets has doubled and tripled since then. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sound effect, guys. Are we serious? <laughs> Several companies now sell attachments that can convert regular toilets into bidets. That sound effect is still going. going right now. It's a long flush. <laughs> it's a Great. long flush. Okay. That's interesting. All right. Cool. Anyway, the NCAA tournament is well underway. Let's talk about that. Yeah, we're down to the Sweet 16. Take a look at some of these matchups. Most brackets are already busted after the first round. <laughs> Games pick back up on Thursday. The teams are from all over the country. Experts wanted to know if where your school is hmm. located affects how you react to tournament, tournament time. That's interesting. Right? Let's take a look at some of these superlatives from a study commissioned by Frank's Red Hot. They found that Easterners are most confident their team can win it all. Interesting. Okay, that tracks. We've got <laughs> some Carolina fans in the building, and that seems to hold up. Mm -hmm. The most competitive fans are in the East and the West, so I guess along the coast. Right. Southern schools are most likely to drown their sorrows in <laughs> snacks. Okay, well, they've got good snacks there. Mm -hmm. The fans expecting the biggest buzzer beaters are in the Midwest. Yeah. And for some reason, that makes sense to A me lot too. of those middle market teams, exactly. A lot of the uh, sleepers are in the Midwest, which sure. is actually really interesting. Okay. But yeah, I can think of one UNC Tar Heel that's producing this show. Is there another loud voice in our newsroom? That's a, he's loud enough for multiple people about right, his car heels wearing so. the hat today. Right. Do we have any Duke? I don't know if we have any. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Fred. Fred Vito is a. Uh, oh, Shropshire. Shropshire. There we go. Because yes. he's from there. Okay, okay. perfect. So there you go. I thought go. you meant Fred Vito at first, and I was like, wow, Freddie's all over the map with his Mets and that. And I guess go Tar Heels. There you go. Sure. All right. That does it for today's <laughs> edition of the lineup. For Brenna White, I'm Keith Jones. Remember, you can get NBC 10 News updates right here on the NBC 10 app. Catch us weekday mornings, by the way, from 4 to 7 a.m. Have a great day. Happy Monday.